What's up? Honor Hammer 26 I'm here to give you my PWG Tremendous 2 review. Before I get to that, two quick things. Uh, first, I had a science infection on Sunday, and this is my first video in six days because I was sick from... I did my last video last Saturday. I got sick on Sunday, and I basically just got better like today or yesterday, and so I'm on camera this first time. I didn't look like sick in like a week, so feeling a lot better. And second, uh, I did have a computer virus over the week and lost all of my Q&A questions. I'm sorry. I had some really good ones too. So if you guys want to send me Q&A questions, it'd be very, very much appreciated. Like, if I didn't answer your question and you sent me one, I'd like all those back because they were awesome. And if you just want to send me one anyway, please feel free to do so. Go to my inbox, send me a personal message. You know, the stick players and sports, many as you want. You guys got it by now. Uh, so here's my video. Uh, uh, Three Magic 2, 6th anniversary on PWG. This is the most recent home release overall. I'm going to give this an 8. It was, there was nothing really special outside of one match on this card. Um, but it's still worth picking up. Uh, or j just seeing that one match is pretty much worth it. I'll, I'll get to that match in a minute. First we have 6-man tag team match. The Cutler Brothers, Brandon and Dustin. Team with Charles Mercury versus Brandon Gatson, Johnny Goodtime, and Jerome LTP Robinson. This match was a pretty good opener, three and a quarter. <coughs> but uh, there are things that could have made it better. Like, I try to give each importance to each wrestler, because this is kind of their first main show ROH thing. But uh, they uh, really wanted to uh, kind of give each one a chance. And the only one who pretty much was really good, in my opinion, was Brandon Gatson, because he had some good moves, and I really, really liked him. Jerome Robinson was okay. Good time was okay. Charles Mercury was pretty bad. The Cutler Brothers I like, but they were the best workers in this match, and they really couldn't help it go along. But it was still good. So, uh, and this was kind of a kind of a fun opener. I feel it went a little too long. So there's that next week, kind of the most disappointing match of the night in uh, Scott Laws versus Alex Shelley. This sounds like a match that would be like three and a half. It was two and a half. It just I could never get into this for some reason. It was just just okay. Just a couple good spots here and there, and that was that. I mean, just. The crowd couldn't help this match, and that's something about this crowd. This crowd wasn't very good, in my opinion. I mean, it got into certain things, but it just it was kind of dead for some reason. I mean, this is their sixth anniversary, and was, the crowd was kind of dead for some reason. I don't know why. It was like a jam-packed crowd. It was dead in points, and I didn't get that. And they've had better crowds, so... <coughs> There's that, but... Alex Shelley, I mean, if they'd had this match, like, later in PWG, I don't see why they couldn't put on a great match, but for some reason didn't click for some reason for... Tonight, for this night. But then we got the other Motor City Machine Gun in action, Chris Saban versus Brian Danielson. This match is what everything the last match should have been. Three and a half. Very, very good. They went about nine minutes or like ten minutes, and it was very, very good for that point. Uh, and I, I, I really, really liked this match. Very, very good. Uh, Danielson did a lot of cool stuff that is cool submissions, and I was very cool. Uh, happy to see that. Chris Saban did his high-flying kind of thing that was very, very good. And they've put on good matches together in the past. They just put another one on here. Good job to both of them. Uh, nothing else really I can say about that match. Just besides the fact that it was good. and I've never seen everything from them before, but it was still good. I liked it. I actually got kind of a comedy match with uh, Cole Cabana versus Chuck Taylor. Both these men. This is probably two of the funniest men in wrestling today, but this match kind of fell flat. Like, they were holding back some of the comedy for some reason. Um, but... Still, this was still kind of cool. I'll give it two stars. It was all right. Uh, this is probably the worst match of the night, but for it really didn't go out all that in wrestling, wrestling wise. So there's that. I mean, it was pretty fun, but it was kind of lackluster. I mean, I mean, it was, it was just okay. And nothing really special. I mean, I like really like both these wrestlers. So I wish they did another match. I mean, a lot of these matches fell short. That's how I feel. Uh, next we got a, actually, this is where the cars started to pick up. Next we got a, uh, a match between Davey Richards and Roderick Strong. I like both these guys a ton. And this match went about like like 12 minutes, 10 minutes. This is very similar to Katsuhiko Nakajima versus Roderick Strong from Super Card of Honor 4. It went very, very short, but they went balls to the wall that entire time. And it was very, very, very good. It was three and three quarters. It wasn't as good as Nakajima and Strong, but... Very same style of match. It was very, very good. A lot of brutal kicks from Roderick. A lot of brutal chops from Strong. Great exchanges. And they fought all over the uh, arena and points. And just this, this, this was a very, very good match. I liked it a lot. And 
they have very, very good chemistry, and it's probably the only match where I was not pissed off at Excalibur on commentary, because he did a very good job of explaining why they're having this match, and which, and which he, I feel he didn't do pretty much any other match. Maybe besides the tag team match, which I'll get to next, but um, Richard and Strong do have, I said this, have very good chemistry, so I feel that maybe they need to have more matches in PWG, because I feel that both of these men could be very good PWG champions coming up. Because uh, they have Bola. I think they're both in Bola. No, no, strong as David Richards hasn't been announced, but he will be, I'm pretty sure. And next we got, uh, alright, this is PWG's, I haven't seen all of DDT, actually I haven't seen any DDT4 yet, but, uh, I ordered, I haven't, I haven't seen any of it, but without seeing DDT4, this is PWG's match of the year, better than the Young Bucks and Motor City Machine Guns from PWG 99, which I really, really liked. It's the Young Bucks, Nick and Matt Jackson versus two skinny black guys, reuniting, which are El Generic and Human Tornado. This match was really frickin' good. It was great. I still gave this four and a quarter, but it was a strong, strong four and a quarter. Wow, this match was great. A lot of great moves, and it's just the Young Bucks are awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, El Generico all, has had good chemistry with the Young Bucks. He's, he's faced both of them before, but I, I didn't really didn't know about Human Tornado because he hasn't faced the Young Bucks at, at all, maybe. So I don't know really about know, know about the, his chemistry with them, but he had very very good chemistry with both of the Young Bucks. Of course, the Young Bucks brought their tag team excellence to this match, and just they always uh, put on good tag, great tag team matches. I mean, just they're put on an awesome year, and just just this this match did go maybe a little too long. This might have been four and a half or four maybe even four. Eh, this might probably been four and a half. They didn't stall a little bit in the beginning, but. Just, just this match is just, man, is this match great. Uh, this is the match you need to see on this card. I think it's, this is now, this match is now my PWG match of the year. It just, it, it was that good. I mean, if you've seen 99, Young Bucks and Mercury Machine Guns and how good that match is, this match was a little bit better than that. So, there's that. Next we get the main event, Pro Wrestling Gorilla Championship World title match. Uh, Gorilla Warfare match, Chris here versus Joey Ryan. If you've seen the show based on a true story, which was, if you've seen the PWG sells out DVD, you've seen this match, uh, Joey Ryan versus Human Tornado. This match with Chris Hero and Joey Ryan was very, very similar to that. The fact that it dragged out a lot and had Candice LeRae interfere on one of the behalf, uh, but it was not overbooked like that match was. And I felt that this match should have been because this match went very, very long. It took about half the time if you're gonna book it like this that it did. I mean, this match went about. 52 minutes, I think 49 minutes actually, and oh, man, this match was not very. I mean, I mean, it dragged along, but just like the last 10 minutes, it picked up and just. This, this is a very controversial match. I'm gonna give it three and a half. I mean, just it was good, but it wasn't great. Just, there was nothing great about it. I mean, the last 10 minutes really picked up, but the pr previous 39 just kind of weighted down. I mean, uh, I don't know about this match. It was just kind of just iffy for me. I, I, I don't really know. I mean, just the crowd was marking out in parts, but it, it just the crowd didn't help. I, I mean, there are certain people in the crowd that were trying to get them into it, but some of them were just sitting there and just like kind of like looking dead. And you could see some of the spots come away from a mile, even though some of them are cool, like the hero table spot, which I don't want to ruin. But it was that was very cool, and there were some uh, pretty innovative spots with the chain, which I had not seen in PKBG before. So that's good. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Send me Q and A questions because I lost them. I'm sorry about that again. I'll, Give me your thoughts on this video. I'll see you guys later. Sorry, bye.